Hello viewers of Gaza Media, welcome to Community Insight here again and this is another edition and today we'll be handling a very wonderful topic which is time management. Well, learning how to manage your time will go a long way to benefit you in every space of your life and that is why I invited Madame Gillette here before us to brief us on time management. Greetings Madame Gillette. Thank you so much. Chris, how are you doing today? Well, I'm doing great. Well, Madame Gillette, what is time management? Thank you so much, Chris. Time management is the process of planning and exercising conscious control over time spent on specific activities in order to achieve effectiveness, efficiency, and productivity. So the question is, why is it important to manage your time? Thank you so much, Chris, for that powerful question. Of course, it is very profitable if you manage your time effectively and it's going to help you to go a long way to be productive. So, when you manage your time well, you see that you work with less stress because you finish all your activities on time. I mean, you can do a whole lot in a very reduced time. You become more organized and of course, you become very effective, efficient and very productive. Please, thank you so much. Wow, that's very great. So, can you tip us on ways to manage our time? Thank you so much, Chris. Yes, dear viewers, for you to better manage your time, first of all, you must know the quantity of time, the amount of time you have at your disposal. When you have the, know the amount of time you have at your disposal, it will help you to strategize on how you're going to meet up with specific tasks, with time allocation to those specific tasks, so that you'll be able to overall meet up with the, whatever you're supposed to do for the day. So after this, you have to do a to-do list. You draw a to-do list, that's a list of activities that you have to do for that day. And when drawing your to-do list, you need to organize it according to the four Ds of time management. Very important. Z number one is the do's. The do's represent your top priority. What are your priorities for the day? They have to occupy the topmost part of your to-do list. Z number two, which is the delay. The delay it, um, it entails the activities that come immediately after your top priority. And then the delegate, the third D is delegate. Those are activities that you can easily delegate to your team members so that you can be working as a team in order to finish right on time. And the last D, which is the delete. Those are things that you can examine in your to-do list and you see that they are not very necessary. And what do you do? You blot it out of your to-do list and you are good to go. And once you strategize like this, go to your to-do list, you pick each activity and see how you can set some goals with time limits. From this time to this time, I must finish with this activity. This time to this time, I must finish with this. And you mount pressure on yourself to make sure that you are working on time so that you would track yourself, you track the time that you are using on every activity, make sure you are moving on. If not, if you are not meeting up, accelerate and make sure that you finish all you are supposed to do at that particular time. And hey, make sure that you also pressurize those who can waste your time because sometimes you may need input from a collaborator in order to work to achieve your dreams, I mean, to meet up with time. So if they delay you, it's going to go a long way to make you to suffer. So you are to mount pressure on them so that they should also meet up with time. You submit their work on time. And hey, you can as well do multitasking increase. Multitasking is doing several activities at the same time. And if you put this into practice, believe me, you are good to go. You will be very efficient. You will be very productive. You will be very effective. Thank you so much. Okay, madam. Losing track of time and not having a to-do list, can this, I mean, hamper an individual's activity or way of life? Thank you so much, Chris, for that question. In fact, if you don't have a to-do list and you don't manage your time well, it's going to be a whole blunder, both to you and both to your company. Because if you don't have a to-do list, you will be disorganized in your work. And what you can achieve in just 20 minutes, you find yourself spending like five hours on it which is going to delay your work and you know the effect of delayance when it comes to uh, the company. I mean, you are going to lose track of so many things just because you don't manage your time appropriately. And of course, Chris, you can tell you'll be ineffective, you'll be inefficient, and you'll be less productive. And you'll find out that those that came before you, 
they'll be working hard, they'll manage their time well, and they'll be getting promotion, they'll be having higher salaries than you, and you'll be complaining that I came into this company first. Why is it that those that came after me are going forward I am and I'm still on the same spot? Because why? Why are you why is that happening to you? You can't work of one day to the next day, work of the next day to I mean you make the whole place saturated and it even penalizes you because you work with a lot of tension, a lot of stress, and this will weigh you down, please. Thank you so much. Okay, viewers, just a quick reminder, this is community inside what we bring to the spotlight, social happenings all around us. And right now, let's go into the communities and hear what people have to say as to time management. My name is uh, Sandra Chia. I work at, in the Marion Paint and Service FES as an executive assistant to the CEO of the company. So I'll just um, describe time management as pertains to me with my work and everything. So being an executive assistant, you have a lot of work. You have a lot of things to do, you have a lot of reporting. And if you come to work and you don't have a schedule, then I don't think you'll be able to finish your 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 work that you have to do for that particular day. So it's always good that you have like a, a, a daily plan or maybe in your phone, I have an app that I use. I always um, put in my Maybe work that I have to do in the future, like tomorrow I have maybe about three minute meetings. They are already my daily planner. So by evening, I'm going to have a signal that I have three meetings tomorrow. And then when I come in the morning, I know how to adjust my work for that day to those meetings. So I come to work by, by eight. I know how to schedule my work from eight to nine, nine to ten. So you have to you have to always uh, follow up on your work. That's, that's just that's just basically it. You have to look in your work. You need to be very time conscious on what you do. Of course, work becomes effective and is productive if you adjust. If you if your if your time if you manage your time very well, you achieve a lot for that day, for the week or for the month. And, and the company, the productivity increases. Your work is efficient and yeah, it, it saves it saves a lot of time and. You don't have to keep going over something. You, you, if you plan well, you'll be able to do an ass job maybe in, in 15 minutes or 20 minutes. I'm uh, Dominique Haas. I'm a contable at Marion Pen. Déjà, merci pour la question. The most important in an entreprise, déjà, is the organization. When you're well organized, you know exactly what I'm doing today or not. Moi, personnellement, qu'est-ce que je fais Avant de venir le matin, je sais déjà ce que je vais faire le lendemain. Donc, comme je pars, quand je vais rentrer aujourd'hui, je sais à peine en me, je vais faire comme ça. Je m'organise comment Quand je viens le matin, je travaille en fonction des priorités. Quelles sont mes priorités Et surtout, il faut avoir la notion de délai. Quand tu te mets une petite pression, toi-même, que non, je dois respecter le délai. Je, je dois aller faire mon travail au plus tard dans une... Tu as la pression du travail. Donc, pour moi, le plus important, ce sont les délais et l'organisation. Bon, déjà, les bénéfices sont multiples. Déjà, personnellement, il y a des bénéfices d'abord pour moi-même. Je me retrouve un peu plus libre et je ne suis pas trop saturée. Parce que déjà, travailler avec la pression, c'est énorme. Et pour l'entreprise aussi, ça permet à l'entreprise de vite gagner. Le métier que je, le métier que je fais aujourd'hui, c'est un métier de comptable. Du coup, avec nous, c'est du tic au tac. 1 plus 1 égale 2. Ça plus ça égale. On t'appelle, on a besoin de l'information, peut-être prendre un crédit. Qu'est-ce que tu fais Tu t'assois, tu fais rapidement, tu donnes. L'entreprise gagne beaucoup. Plus je fais tout mon travail, je fais également gagner l'entreprise, surtout en termes de coûts. Pour une entreprise comme ma grande Je suis directeur euh, logistique et chargé des relations extérieures de Marion Pen, MPS. La gestion du temps est très importante pour l'entreprise. C'est donc dit que si vous avez le départ pour le lendemain matin, si vous ne le faites pas ce soir, demain matin, vous serez en retard. Parce que si vous avez peut-être trois, trois voyages et que vous ne le lancez pas à temps, vous attendez le matin pour le lancer, vous serez donc en retard. Donc la gestion du temps est très importante pour l'entreprise. Okay, it's at this point to draw a close to this edition of uh, Community East and we've been handling time management 
at Madame Kilet here has Christos her presence and please don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you have any happenings anywhere around you and you need our services, please do well to reach us with the numbers on your screen. Bye bye.